In this video, I have 10 trends that are classy, not trashy, and not to be confused with classic, although a lot of these are classy and classic, but I wanted to round up some of the 2024 trends geared towards more warmer weather since we're in the summer that are that I think are very classy. And then of course, for funsies, because it's always fun when we show the other side of things, I'll mention a couple that are very big trends that I just personally think they could possibly, at least on me, not look classy. Yeah, so this should be a fun video and hopefully give you some outfit ideas as well. And let's get started. One trend that I think does look very classy and I think is also very classic, but it's the skinny belt. We've definitely seen this skinny belt be a very big trend for 2024. And I love it for summer as well because I feel like in the summer when it gets super hot, I find it just personally personally too overwhelming um, several of my outfits to wear a thicker belt. Not all of them, sometimes it does still work, but a lot of times it just seems like too much for me for the summertime. So I love a skinny belt in the summer. I don't always wear a belt, but I do think it's a great way to add something to your outfit. And especially since, you know, in the summer, we don't want to add layers. I think a belt can sometimes really add a really nice element to your outfit, very classy element, and can elevate your look a little bit. One trend that we are seeing for 2024 is, you know, and we've also, we've all talked about with, there's the quiet luxury and like um, very classic dressing is very much on trend. And within that genre are more classic color pairings. So a few years ago, we did see a lot of color blocking, a lot of like bright color, color blocking. And just, it was like really, was really big for a little while. And then it just kind of stopped, which I thought was interesting. And I think it's because it's hard to, that's one of those things that's like fun to wear for a while and then you just kind of get over it or something. At least I do, because I liked it for a little while and now I'm like, I don't want to color block anymore. But it's more classic color pairing. So think navy and white, you know, all the neutrals paired together, like ivory and beige or ivory and white, uh, brown and ivory, black and brown, green and ivory, more like classic traditional color pairings that, well, this is another one. It's very classy, but it's also very classic. It doesn't really ever go out of style. I personally love this too because it's so easy to do. When you take very classic colors and neutral colors and put them together with the classics and the neutral colors, it's pretty easy to put them together and make a beautiful outfit. Vest, vest, okay, that is a huge trend for 2024. Pretty positive, I'm positive. It will continue to be a huge trend going forward into 2025 and onward. It's just a really big trend. I love it. I'm a vest girl. I love them. They have been so great, especially in the warmer months, whenever it's too hot to wear anything and I want to look a little bit nicer. I'll wear a vest and I love it. Don't have to tuck it in or anything. Super great. But this is definitely a very classy trend. Classic? I don't know about classic. I think at some point years down the road, even maybe it's 10 years, we might look back and be like, man, remember we were, we were wearing vests all the time? I don't know if it's necessarily classic, but it's definitely classy. And I definitely think this is staying around for a long time. Do not fear the vest because it will, it'll stay for a while. Now one top that I think on me, girl, on me, it would not look classy. And I'll see pictures and I'm gonna show you pictures and it looks beautiful on these girls, these women that, are, that have it on. And I think it looks beautiful and classy on them. I just know, I just know me, I know myself, I know my body, and it just would not look classy on me, but it's the tops that just are open, but they like have two little ties. It's just open other, uh, other than that. You can't wear a bra with it. Maybe you could wear like pasties or something, but um, I just would be walking around like this <laughs> because I just know that I would be exposing myself to the world if I wore that top. It just, it would not work out well for me and it would not look classy. No one would look at me in that top and be like, what a classy outfit. It would just look the opposite. So um, I think those are cute on the right person, but on me, just, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to stay away from those. Our sponsor for this video is one of my favorite companies for beautiful, well-made silk and cashmere items. I don't have any cashmere in this video because it's summertime, but they have beautiful silk pieces and it's Lily Silk. I have several Lily Silk pieces that I wear on very frequent rotation. And I wanna show you some of the new pieces I have from their summer collection. I'll throw in a couple pieces that I have had for a little while that you've probably seen before, but that are just some of my favorite pieces. Let's start off with these navy silk trousers, which are very useful if you need to look put together for work 
or otherwise, but it's still really hot outside as these are very lightweight and very breathable, just so easy to wear. I paired them with a silk crop top from Lily Silk, which I love for a summertime look paired with high-waisted bottoms. Like I can see this looking gorgeous with a long maxi skirt. Now I've paired it with this navy silk knit sweetheart top paired with the navy trousers and I love this monochrome look. The top is super lightweight. It feels great against your skin. And at the very last minute, I decided to also try my navy silk button down with these pants and I love this look. I love the way that these, these are both silk pieces but they're different textures. I just think that makes it look so interesting and I actually think I like it better without a, the belt. All the, the belt is great as well. And then of course you can switch up your handbags when you do this kind of look. Moving over to this silk dress, which has such an easy movement to it. It's perfect for hot weather events. It comes with a little belt, but you can also add your own belt and even go with no belt. It still looks great because of the nature of the silk fabric. It just easily moves with your body. It doesn't feel heavy or like too much fabric, which I find very important during the summer. These little silk shorts are perfect for an elevated chic summer look. They are high-waisted with a zipper side entry, and I have them paired with this silk top, also from Lily Silk, that I've enjoyed wearing this summer because it's so lightweight and breathable it's a silk knit but it looks classy and it helps me look pulled together if you've watched any of my videos you know that I love vest and this has been one of my most worn vests this season it's silk it has a great tailored fit and the shade of brown is absolutely gorgeous and looks great next to your skin I've honestly worn this vest with so many different types of bottoms but I love that it can easily elevate like a basic pair of jeans or they can look a little fancier when paired with tailored pants so I do have a discount code for Lily silk which I will put in the description box below as well as links to all the items that I'm wearing I'll also so list my size and um, let's continue. This is one trend that I feel like is, it's very classy, but is it classic? I don't really know. I guess it probably depends on the item, but it's the off shoulder and it's kind of like a draped off shoulder. So I'm not talking about sleeveless and not strapless, but it's doesn't, it's not on your shoulder, it's off the shoulder. I feel like I just over explained that. I mansplained it to you and I'm not a man. Anyway, um, but you know what I mean, I'm showing you pictures. I'm gonna put pictures up here, It'll make all make sense. But I love this, I think it's very beautiful. It can be very classy and just elegant and you know, you could choose to either do some kind of necklace or you could do a big earring. I just think this can be so beautiful, especially in the summer months when we don't want a ton of fabric touching us. I just think this could be a very elegant look for like a fancier occasion. Lily Silk actually has a dress. I don't have it, but I will link it below. It's gorgeous. That has this off shoulder look and it has the maxi length. I just think this can look very beautiful and classy and elevated. Ballet flats and Mary Janes, such a big trend right now. I mean, they are just, they're really, really big. I just am surprised at how big they got. I did not like them at first when they came back. I was like, ugh, no, because I just could only picture them with those midi skirts that we were wearing in like 2012. I did not like that, but I love, I love the ballet flats now. The Mary Jane styles is particularly, particularly what I love. I love them with pants. I've loved them with my dresses. Um, I love putting them with like longer hemlines. And I do think these can look very classy. I don't think they're classic though. I know people are like, Mary Jane's are classic. They never go out of style. Yeah, they, I mean, they kind of do at some point, but it's one of those things that I think will just kind of like, it'll be like really in style for a few years and then maybe it'll go out and then it'll be really in style and then maybe it'll go out. So I think it's one of those kinds of trends, but I don't know if it's like trench coat classic, you know, never goes out of style, always, you know, looks current and, the, and everything like that. But I do think it's very classy and I don't think it's going anywhere. Like if you bought a pair of ballet flats today um, and you still like them, of course, I, you know, I don't think that you would look out of style for a very long time. They're just, it's the trend that keeps on gaining momentum. So I, I actually like it now. I do like it. I'm a turned woman. So yeah. And since we're on shoes, a shoe that like, I've never felt like it looked that classy, even though they have a been a big trend. And I even have a pair. It's the Chunky Soul flip-flop and I have a pair and I love them. They are so comfortable. I wear them around my house. I wear them to walk my dog. Um, I've worn them to the pool, those kind of things. You know, something where I'm like literally going from point A to point B and I want to be comfortable, but it's just my throw on shoe. But I just don't like wearing it as like part of an outfit. And I just don't think they look all that classy. They just look super casual and um, I don't know what the word is because there's a lot of casual styles that do look classy, but I just, I'm not sure what the word is exactly, but I don't consider that shoe to be like a classy 
footwear option, you know? I do love minimal straps, minimal sandals. I do think that it looks very classy. And um, I guess just the chunkiness sometimes throws things off a bit. I have a lot of chunky sandals and I love them, but if I'm going for a classy, sophisticated, elegant outfit, I'm probably not gonna wear huge, chunky shoes. But that's just me. The maxi length has been on trend for a while, yes, and it's still here. I think this is one of those things that is going to continue on in the next few years. We're just really gonna see the maxi length for years and years to come because it is so wearable. I have been really loving this. I've been loving the maxi denim skirts, not in the summertime. Um, my maxi cotton skirts, the maxi dresses. I just really love these. And what I think, you know, could be not classy on the not classy realm is we were seeing for a little while the trend of super, super mini skirts. And we are seeing a trend this year, um, which is really hard to wear for most of us, are the micro mini shorts. I feel like the micro mini might morph itself into something more wearable eventually. I don't know what it is because I don't know, <laughs> but maybe it'll morph into something else. I don't know. But the micro mini short and the mini, 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 mini skirt, like it just, you know, it'd be really hard to keep everything in place. It just, it could, could you know, on me, it would go the, it would be the, it would not look classy. It, it just probably wouldn't. I can do mini skirts. I like mini skirts, a normal length. I feel like it hit, my, hit me on my thigh, but if they're super short, not so much. Speaking of shorts and bottoms, the tailored short, oh my goodness, this has been a big trend. And it's so much so that we don't even realize it's a trend, but I'm telling you a few years ago, it was tough to find tailored shorts, you know, like you could find them, but it wasn't like they were all over the place. Now it's like every brand under the sun has a tailored short and probably even a tailored pant. It's just a very big trend right now, which I love. Another one that's kind of classic, um, I would say kind of classic because it could, you know, we could eventually move away from pleats or something like that. But it is a very classy trend. The butter yellow and uh, what do they call in the blue now? Robin's egg blue or, it's more of a pastel blue. I mean, it's kind of a pastel blue. I'm sure there's a fancy name for it. It's like bluebird and the sunshine on marshmallows blue or something. But uh, I'll show you the pictures. But those two colors have been a very big trend for 2024. Love them. Love them. Can I put it near my face? Not if I want anyone to think that I did not just get beat up on the street corner um, or that I don't sleep ever in my life because they just don't look that great on me. I do have one top. I still love it. I love it. And I do wear it. It's the blue color and I just love it. So I'm, you know, I'm not getting rid of it or anything, but, um, but I can agree that it just, it's not, those are not the best colors for me, but they are beautiful. Love them. And I love that the yellow, that butter yellow, it's almost like a neutral depending on which one, but a lot of them, you know, cause they come in different shades and you'll find them in kind of more new, going through towards more the neutral category and some that goes a little more towards the yellow category, but it can look a little bit of, like a neutral. It looks beautiful with beige and cream and other neutrals. I don't think any of these two colors are going anywhere. And I think they are very classy. And I guess, you know what? The blue is probably, the blue is definitely classic. The blue is classic. Maybe not the yellow, maybe the yellow, at some point we'll be like, oh, that's so 2024. But um, I do think the blue is very classic, but they're both, I think, very classy colors. Now what I think could not be classy, could not be, I mean, does it, not always not classy, but neons, which I don't feel like are like that big of a trend right now either, but a lot of neons, I just, you know, I'll, I'll see, there's occasionally I'll see one and I'm like, I love it. And it'll be like some neon yellow something and it's beautiful, but most all the neon stuff I see, when I really look up close, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. It's just not the, not the vibe I'm going for. It's not into it, you know? So black and white, as I mentioned in this video, um, is a very big trend right now. And we're seeing a lot of like dresses that come in black and white. And you know, you can also just put black and white together, but black and white, it's very classy, very classic. You know, I don't particularly love the black trousers with a white button down. I think that can look kind of like uniform-ish, but a white skirt with a black top, love that. Um, there's lots of different ways you can play around with black and white to create an interesting outfit. And that's definitely a very, I mean, obviously you could definitely wear something that was, did not look very classy. It would depend on the style, but I think you can really work with black and white to make a very classy outfit that, you know, works with you and you probably already have in your closet. Pearls 
have been a very big trend for 2024 and it is both classy and classic. Pearls just always look nice. Whether they are on trend or not, they always look beautiful and elegant. And I love that they're on trend because I didn't like pearls for a long time. I think because the, the really traditional looking ones, I'm like, mm, I don't know. But since they've come out with more interesting designs mixed with other metals, um, I just, I do think these can be really beautiful. Definitely very classy. De definitely one of those pieces that if you bought pearls, you could keep them for the rest of your life and pull them out when you wanted to wear them. I just don't really think they would ever look out of style. So definitely very classic, but also very classy. I completely forgot to record an outro for this video, but thank you for watching. I will link everything you need to know about Lily Silk in the description box, including my dis um, my discount code. And um, you can watch this B-roll that I have of one of my new favorite outfits. <laughs> and then watch this video up here if you want some summer essentials if you live in a really hot climate. Thanks for watching. See you next time.